Hi petals, welcome to your soul activation session. So whoever I am talking to today, you've really been going through a very strong alchemical process. You've really been helping to alchemize your and soothe something here. So I feel like there is a strong connection here with the dolphin energy, the dolphin frequency that has been helping you and assisting you in the etheric realm. You've really been guided and activated when it comes to your ability to love and to hold compassion. This could be within yourself or for others. So there could potentially be a tricky or even challenging or triggering connection that's been around you. This could have been in the past or this could be around you right now. And you've really been able to hold that higher vision, the higher recogn recognition of where they are and be able to hold space for that person rather than you know judge them or judge yourself for this situation you've been able to take a step back and you've been able to have a look at this behavior whatever has been occurring here and recognize the reasonings behind this this could also be a mirror that you have been putting up to yourself as well having that ability to self-reflect so seeing something about yourself that maybe you're not 100% happy with, whether it's your responses to something, the way you're reacting, maybe your um, modalities or ways of doing something. And I feel like you've been able to self-reflect on that. And instead of putting yourself down and berating yourself, you've used it to elevate yourself higher you've used it to make yourself better you know better yourself connect yourself even more with your higher self it's this energy coming through of what would my higher self do what would my higher self do and it's almost like you've been doing this whether it's on a conscious level or an unconscious subconscious level you've really been integrating yourself more and more with your higher self really bridging that gap between those two essences of who you are I am hearing this energy here of designing your frequency and reality, designing your frequency and reality. So I feel like you've realized and recognized at some point previously that you are the designer, you are the creator of your experience, of your reality. And you have really kind of tapped into that or try to tap into it to help you to align yourself more with more optimal experiences, um, healings, overcoming things, shifting things. And so if this is what you have been doing, this is your confirmation that this has been working for you. There is this energy here that you have recognized that your roots are not your limitations, okay? So I feel like something could have been limiting you where it, you were supposed to feel grounded or you were trying to ground yourself to something but really it was a limitation and so yeah I feel like you've been recognizing that and you know to root yourself to ground yourself but to not limit yourself there's a, a message coming through here and it's saying success comes from flow success comes from flow so you've been able to tap into and recognize that you know, the ability to reach a goal or to be successful in something and whatever this is, is to not force it, is to not push it to happen, is to not push it to manifest, but instead allow it to flow and tap into the energy and frequency of those dolphins, which is an energy of play, an energy of fun, you know, tapping into that laughter energy, that freedom energy. And this is what the dolphin energy has been assisting you with here. So essentially you have been merging aspects of self, the physical and the ethereal energies, you've been merging them in. And so you've been merging yourself more and more, as I said, with your higher self, really bridging that gap, which has been very assisting for you. And it's created some sort of springboard into a new life here or a new version of self, really opening the doorway here to a brand new chapter. But this chapter is going to be a lot different than you have previously experienced because of all of the work that you have been putting in. So this new chapter is involving here that you are moving into, it involves releasing attachments. So you have recognized that maybe something that you thought was rooting you or making you feel stable, actually it wasn't doing that, it was just limiting you, it was keeping you attached to something here. So what you what grounded you actually kept you stuck. And so you're you're going to be recognizing this if you haven't recognized it already. I do feel some of you have recognized it already that 
what you wanted to work through or work towards actually was not optimal for you. And so you're being released from that. So whatever this was, was a false connection. It was a false um, stability. It was a false foundation. And now you're going to be realigned with what is more optimal for you. With the crown energy here coming through, your crown is really kind of like opening up like a feather and being shown... Um, that's interesting that I just said a feather. That's really interesting because I meant a flower. Okay, so there's something here to do with feather, angels, angelic realm. Okay, the angelic realm is coming through strongly for you here. And I feel like they've been gently opening your crown like a feather. You know, a feather is gentle. So your crown is gently opening because if it was to open too quickly or too fast, um, it would overwhelm you. You'd be flooded with downloads and you wouldn't know what to do with it. This is a message for maybe one or two of you here. If you've been working on opening your crown, make sure that you do it um, sensibly, that you're not overwhelming yourself and you're not opening up too quickly. Ask your guides, your higher self to assist you with opening your crown in a way that is going to be most comfortable for you because they will be able to assist you with that. So there's a message here of you following your divine guidance on a even higher scale on a higher level and becoming a clearer channel so your channels are clearing and you're going to be accessing more truths okay so there's, there's something coming through of your higher self clearing your crowns so that you can activate more truths um and you know really access um something on a deeper level when it comes to a truth whether there's truth of the universe truth of the collective a truth of yourself a truth of your soul i'm hearing many different truths are coming through here you've also got a strong connection to angels as i originally mentioned with the, the feather energy coming through but we also have pleiadians and lemurians coming through here as well and i'm feeling like ascended master energy as well coming through here wanting to connect with you and wanting to work with you I am seeing the sacred geometry, Metatron's cube coming through really strongly as I was connecting with your energy and tapping into these downloads that I've been sharing with you. So you do have a strong energy of the elven ones that is supporting you right now, bringing you divine creation codes. There's an energy of being the architect as well. So you really are tapping into more fuller being the architect of your reality and the elves the elf energy the elf frequency is very assisting for you with this so this is the energy of joy this is the energy of light this is the energy of freedom being light on your feet the ability to drift and shift effortlessly and this is what the elven energy can assist with and help with and this is all around you right now so if this resonates for you feel welcome to call upon this energy and invite it in um, this energy of joy, light, feeling the ability to shift really positively with those, those more positive, higher timelines. And there's this energy of, you know, getting out of the human mind as well, which is, can be over, over analytical. It can be worrying and ultimately that can limit us and that can hold us back. So I do see your higher self wanting to align you more with a more freedom energy. And this is why your crown is expanding. It's because you're bringing down downloads for those higher realms from your higher self to help assist you now in this new chapter that you are stepping into. We have the angel number 141 coming through. 141. If anyone wants to see what that means and drop it in the comments section, that would be really helpful. 141 is calling out here. So I feel like there's an extra message there. Things are being aligned, like divine alignment is coming through here. Divine alignment, you're going beyond attachments. You're moving beyond attachments and whatever was keeping you attached is being released here because ultimately, like I said, it was like a false foundation and that's being removed so that you can build more of a solid foundation that is more aligned and optimal for you. So what other messages do we have here? What else wants to come through? We have earth pulsing, pulse of mother, slow down at time in nature. So right now it's important for you to tap into the energy of slowing down, the energy of rest, the energy of rejuvenation. Because you've really been integrating so much here 
And so Gaia is calling out for you here. Gaia is calling out to assist you, to help you. Yeah, I feel like working with Gaia is going to be really beneficial for you right now. If you're struggling to slow down, if you're struggling to switch off, you know, at the end of the day, or if your mind just keeps racing, or if you keep finding things to do, and it's like, I'm trying to rest, but I, I, it's difficult, um, or I'm trying to rest, but I've got so much to do, Gaia is reaching out here to also support you with this, to help you with this. You know, I feel like time in nature is going to be very helpful for you. And we were just talking about, you know, the grounding and it being like a false grounding, it not being properly in alignment for you because somehow it was restricting you, somehow it was it was holding you down. And so Gaia is reaching out to bring you this healing grounding energy this grounding energy that is going to also uplift you it's also going to give you that freedom that you need that freedom that you crave so spending time in nature I feel like looking at landscapes is going to be really helpful for you whether that is literally physically if you have the blessing of having beautiful landscapes around you where you live try to get out in those in that area and just observe and if you're not able to get to those areas, I feel like even looking at imagery, like YouTube videos of like landscapes would be really powerful for you. I feel like it's activating. It's almost going to be like an awakening energy for you, an activation energy, like a meditation. Specifically, um, trees, mountains, and like pools of water like lakes I feel would be really helpful and assisting for you right now what else do we have what else we have cracked open rock bottom surrender to the alchemy of life so some of you may be going through this energy right now where you feel like something has shifted, something is broken apart. For many of you, you've already been through this and this is what has been the catalyst to shift you here, to shift you into something, to shift you into this new chapter. I feel like you've been going through a series of awakenings, really fully more kind of splitting you open to really get to the core of who you are, to really get to the core of those releases that need to happen because in order to get something out that's been stuck inside if you we if we use the analogy of a shell like an egg shell an egg we have to crack through the shell to get to what's inside right and so it's like that here with with you as well and on a human level not physically and literally but like metaphorically we kind of have to be cracked open you know really go deep within ourselves to bring through what needs to be released and so this is an energy here that I feel for most of you you have already been through for some of you you're going through it right now and there is this energy here of surrendering surrender to the alchemy of life take baby steps take baby steps and it's important to take little steps in action towards where it is that you want to go. Like we said, slow down, baby steps. You don't have to take big leaps here. I do feel like this very much energy of, I want to do it all. I'm so excited. In some area, you're excited. But in other places, it may come from an energy of fear as well. A fear of not being able to do everything. A fear of not being able to get there quick enough. A fear of missing out, like FOMO energy but you're really being guided here to take baby steps, slow down. This doesn't have to be achieved overnight. Your soul mission is not supposed to be achieved overnight. Just enjoy the journey. Fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. Yeah, so we've got two energies and messages here of surrender coming through. Fall into my arms. I feel like your higher self is saying, just allow yourself to just surrender. Because I am controlling this. I have the wheel. You may be someone who's been through like a lot of extremes in life, like extreme highs, extreme lows, that kind of like roller coaster energy, like extreme challenges. And I feel like with the elven ones, like we were saying, it's that more energy of lighter energy, joyous energy, of freedom, 
of being light on your feet. It's like that subtle energy rather than those extremes. I feel like your soul is done with the, the extreme energy coming through. I feel like there is this message coming through of anything that is unaligned needs to go. Anything is, that is unaligned needs to go. It needs to be released. And this is why this cracking open energy because you are being recalibrated. We have portal. Doors are opening. You decide. Rewards and wild card. Doors are opening. Things are shifting. Like I said, you've completed one chapter here. You've connected more with higher self. You've bridged some sort of gap here. And you've made a energetic connection point with your higher self. And now new doorways are opening for you. New positive gateways are opening for you. There's some sort of transmission and activation energy that is coming through as well. Let's see. So I feel like these new doorways as well, just be open-minded about where you are shifting to. Be open-minded as to where you are being guided. And don't forget you have a strong support system around you as well. The angels, the Lemurians, the Pleiadians, Ascended Masters, the Elven Ones, Higher Self. All of this is coming through and Gaia as well, of course, Mother Gaia. We can't forget Gaia reaching out to assist you here. Can we bring through some more guidance, please? What more guidance wants to come through? What other guidance wants to come through? We have adjustment, moving back, looking back and moving forward. It's interesting if I just said moving back. It's important for you not to revert back to old comfort zones. I feel like for some of you, you're being pulled away from something and it may feel uncomfortable. And so you might be tempted to just try and run back to whatever that was so that you could feel that sense of security. But as we said, it was a false stability. It wasn't real. It was an illusion. And it wasn't going to last for the long run. Whatever this is, it wasn't for the long haul. And so this is why it's either been removed, taken away, or it may be crumbling now. Is because you're meant to move on. You're meant to move forward. This new portal and doorway is opening for you here. And I feel like beyond this gateway, the possibilities are more expansive for you. And I feel like it's bringing in an energy of expansion. Of allowing you to do something differently or ex explore different aspects of self. Allow yourself to make those adjustments and allow your higher self to make the adjustments because they can see, our higher selves can see more than what our human self can see. And I feel like this is why the energy of the crown is coming through with those truths, being shown the truths, accessing higher truths is so that you can understand. I feel like your higher self is, is helping you to understand, is wanting you to understand telepathy transmission perception communication did i just not mention the word transmission before i do feel like there is this energy of transmission that is coming through here and it's bringing with it an activation and it's helping to shift your perception so there is an energy of telepathy coming through here and like i said i do feel like this is with your higher self most strongly and optimally it's with your higher self and you're receiving deeper transmissions, heightened perception. Perception shifts. And it's like we were saying about you being able to tap in to self-reflection. And that perspective that you have of why others are acting the way they're acting or why they might have done the what they've done. You're seeing things from a higher perspective, a higher perception. You've got heightened perception. And that is helping to shift you forward. That is helping to build a stronger foundation for you. We have clairvoyance, inspiration, interpretation and trust. So you really are starting to see things a lot more clearly. And so it's important for you to trust yourself. Trust in what you are seeing. Trust in what you are being shown. And also trust in what you know as well. I also feel a strong energy of claircognizance coming through. Clairvoyance and claircognizance. And you're being guided here to plant something new. To plant something new. So let's see what we have here. Let's get a crystal message. What wants to come through? 
What else needs to come through today? So we have the Ethiopian opal coming through on fertile ground. Yes. Wow. We've got Pegasus, unicorn energy and rainbow child. Wow. That's really beautiful. I love that. Um, yeah. So as I just said, planting something new and then we've got fertile ground that's come through. So whatever it is that you're planting, make sure that you're planting it on fertile, fertile ground. You know, that ground that is going to be like full of growth, full of abundance, full of manifestation, full of love. So obviously this is metaphorically speaking, not literal. So when we're, let's just say when we're, you know, planting a seed uh, with a manifestation or a wish that we have, we have, we are that, we are that ground. We are that fertile land or we are the land that will help this manifestation to grow or not grow. So we need to focus on our own energy. We need to focus on our own frequency and we need to nurture that. We need to tend to that. Like the gardener would tend to the crops and tend to the soil and make sure that the soil's churned, make sure that it's, um, that it's helped with water. And so we need to do that for our own metaphorical garden and landscape which is our energy field which is our frequency what are our, what are our thoughts are our energy centers our chakras are they open are they balanced what are our beliefs do we believe that we are worthy do we trust ourselves do we trust our intuition all of these things are thrown into the mix here in our proverbial garden right and so we need to make sure that the conditions are optimal for our seeds that we are planting. Some of you connect with unicorns or you feel a strong desire to work with unicorns. So you have so many different beautiful beings that are coming through in this session. So take what resonates for you here. What else do we have? What else do we have? I just saw 2222, 2222 on the timer. We have crazy, crazy lace agate and sunflower and play, more fun, jokes and laughter, please. Yes, exactly. That dolphin energy coming through to say, don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. You can't just tap into this energy once and then move on and make everything serious again. It's like you have to um, continue to integrate this. You have to continue to integrate this energy of playtime. Beautiful sunflowers are coming through here. So sunflowers could be assisting or resonant for some of you here. But they're always this energy of, of joy, of happiness. They face towards the sun. They connect with the sun. So connecting with the central sun, solar energy, connecting with the sun will be very optimal enlightening for you um activating for you restoring i'm hearing energizing so keep working on playtime keep tapping into what makes you laugh it's almost as well kind of like laughing at ourselves i was having a conversation with someone recently about this and i like to laugh at myself and i was saying do you know what i actually like this aspect of myself that i can laugh at myself i don't take myself too seriously and i think that's important i think it's important to you know tap tap into those lighter energies you know and if you've done something dumb if you've done something silly if you said like something completely stupid laugh at it you know oh well oops okay ha 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 that's really funny um, and just move on. Like, it's not such a big deal. And so I feel like, you know, tapping into this energy of laughter, of fun, is going to be really, really assisting for you right now. Particularly because I do feel like you have been through something quite difficult or you could potentially be going through this right now. We do have, yeah, Obsidian and, and Hellbore on the bottom of the deck. Um, Shadow Mirror, Deep Healing, Understanding and Seer. This is exactly the energy I was picking up, you know, the energy of holding a mirror to self, holding a mirror to a situation and really having to face that, face that shadow and be able to accept it, to be able to forgive it, to be able to integrate it, to be able to release it and to be able to understand it. So there's a deep healing that has been taking place. You are the seer, okay? You're being shown various different shadow energies, shadow sides. 
I feel like this extends from yourself. Maybe you're seeing the shadows in others, you're seeing the shadow in the world, in the collective, and that is incredibly difficult to see. And so when you're a seer, people think that it's all glamorous being a seer, but really it's incredibly difficult. And this is why it's it's such a huge responsibility to have that ability and to activate the ability to be a seer. It's because not only do you see the good things, but you also see the shadow things, the negative things, the dark things, right? And so the more that you integrate the light with the shadow, the more that you're going to be able to uplift, the more that you're going to be able to rise. So if you're finding yourself diving into the shadows or being pulled into the shadows through your life experience, through maybe emotions that are coming through, healings that are coming through, make sure that you are tapping into the lighter side as well with the sunflower. You're tapping into joy, you're tapping into play and you're allowing yourself to flow with that as well. That's going to be really important. Working with crazy lace agates, opal or obsidian could be really assisting for you right now as well. I do feel this energy of the void coming through, this energy of ego shattering. You're emptying something, yeah, the cracked open energy, you're emptying something, you're releasing something huge. And it's releasing some sort of attachment that was keeping you stuck. And it was built on a false foundation. So allow it to fall away, don't go back to your comfort zone. Step through the new gateways, step through into the new chapters that are wanting to find you and wanting to integrate here because you really have done the work whoever is resonating with this you've really done the work and so don't fall back keep moving forward take your time though don't push yourself this isn't a race you don't need to compete with anything and you don't need to compete with yourself just take your time allow it to flow remember to keep that communication with your higher self keep up that communication with your higher self because that's going to be very healing for you that's going to be very affirming for you and assisting for you as well so this has been your reading today i truly hope that this reading has helped you it has assisted you in some way thank you so much for being here if you want to dive deeper i do have various soul sessions and readings available via my website which you can find in the description box and please feel free to comment down below how this reading has resonated for you and share any feedback that you have. I always love to check in with you and see what you're up to and see how things resonate for you. I do read every single comment. So thank you so much for your presence today. I really hope that this has been positively assisting for you. And I am wishing you all the best, sending you lots of love. See you in our next reading. Take care. Bye.